Hi, I'd like to take the opportunity to give you a little bit of um, technical information, show you how to change the blade on the Claymore and a little bit of um, history too. The original Claymore goes back six or seven years. The downside was it wasn't a razor for everyone. It was very, very aggressive. Um, too aggressive for more, most people and we wanted a razor that would suit everyone, no matter your age, no matter your skin type, no matter your beard type, that's what we were trying to achieve and this didn't hit the, the mark at all. Not only that, it was cast steel and with a rejection rate of about 10% and eventually it became economically unviable. So I took my idea to an engineer here in Glasgow and he came up with some technical drawings and we took these drawings to various firms, engineering machine shops in Scotland, then we widened the net to England, to Europe, even the USA, and we could not get a machine shop that would deliver the quality that we wanted at a price that worked for us. And we were ready to give up the project and I spoke to Steve Tinter in Hong Kong. Now Steve's the MD at Alpha Shaving Brushes and Steve suggested I send the drawings to the machine shop in Hong Kong that he uses and they came up with some prototypes for us. And again, like this one, the original prototypes were way too aggressive. So back to the drawing board, we changed the, the angle the blade comes out of the head at and we changed the blade exposure. We used a lot of um, 3D nylon models, um, some of which worked really well. This in fact worked really well, but um, it didn't have the low profile head that we wanted. But it did have the, the blade angle and um, the blade exposure that we needed. So it was an expensive exercise doing all these prototypes, but worth it in the end to get to where we ended up. This is a razor that I believe anyone can use if you're a wet shaver, you're using Gillette Mac 3 or Fusion, or you're using um, a traditional safety razor, there's no reason at all why you can't graduate to this. And the main benefit is the head is 25% wider than a standard safety razor. So this is 51 millimeters long, and that means you need fewer passes to shave the less passes or the fewer passes you do, the less post-shave irritation you're going to get. Additionally, the blades that the Claymore uses are four times thicker than a standard safety razor blade. And it's this rigidity that gives the best shave you'll ever have. People often ask us, um, how do you change the blade on the Claymore? Is it fiddly? Is it difficult? Am I going to cut my fingers? No, you won't. These blades are, that are used in the Claymore are called injector blades. This is a feather Japanese ProGuard blade, my blade of choice. So take the blade out of the container unscrew the head from the handle Take the blade and the blade fits on to these little uprights here. This is made to a tolerance of two thousandths of an inch. There is no possibility of blade misalignment. The blade alignment is bang on every single time. Screw it down. Just run your eye down there, make sure it's, it's been uh, set in properly. That's it, good to go. So if, if you can think of a razor without blade chatter, with, without too much blade exposure that covers your face very, very quickly, this is, I think, what we have delivered. So the dimensions, as I said, the head is 51 millimetres wide. It has a five millimetre screw. And this screw 
is not glued in or welded in. This has been machine tooled, the whole thing, out of one piece of 316 marine grade stainless steel. The razor is 103 grams in weight. The handle is 91 millimetres long with a 13 mil diameter and it comes with this dapper bullet stand. Current prices are £110 sterling, roughly 150 American dollars and approximately 128 euro. And before you email in and ask us, yes, we do ship worldwide and every order is sent track and trace. Thanks for watching.